जस्ट पेपर नंबर पेपर नंबर टू जीरो फाइव नाइन टू टू जीरो फाइव नाइन टू नाउ इन दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फाइव ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन स्क्वेर अरेंजमेंट फाइव क्वेश्चन गिवन ऑन द स्क्वेर अरेंजमेंट हाउ मनी पर्सन आर देर एट पर्सन दीज एट पर्सन आर सीटेड अराउंड स्क्वेर टेबल now four at the centers and four at the corners isn't it now this is what the information provided eight people m n o p q r s n t are the eight persons seated around a square table but not nested in the same order in such a way that four of them sit at four corners while four sit in the middle of each of the four sides and the ones sitting at the corners are facing the center now the ones who are seated at the corners are facing the center and the remaining persons are facing away from the center that means the persons who are seated at the centers are facing away from the center isn't it now this is what the information provided regarding their seating then condition number 1 m sits at one of the middle of the sides as m sits at one of the middle of the sides now we can fix this m at any one of these four places now if you fix m at this place now this m sits at one of the middle of the sides of the table only one person sits between m and r how many persons are in between m and r there is exactly one person and so how many possibilities do we have we have some two possibilities this is the first possibility and the second one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now these eight persons are like this isn't it or like this then m is at this place r can be at this place either m is to right hand side of r or left hand side of r then only one person sits between m and r p sits to out to the right of r whatever this p p is seated to out to the right of r now in case one this person is facing away from the center right hand side means in the clockwise that means p will be here now p sits to out to the right of r and in the second case r is facing away from the center now p sits to out to the right of r p will be here p sits to out to the right of r and only three persons sit between p and n now sir among these eight persons three persons is nothing but they are opposite to each other now p and n are opposite to each other p and n now here it is p and will be here o sits second to the right of s whatever this o o is seated second to the right of s as o sits second to the right of s how many possible this here if o can o or s be at this place if r if o or s is at this place and the other person must be in the place of either n or p which is not possible hence o and s cannot be at this place if o is here s will be here or if o is here s will be here isn't it if o and s were done then similarly here also this o and s must be in the alternate places hence o or s will be in these two places only then o sits second to the right of s as o sits second to the right of s now tell me in this one in the first case s can be either at this place or at this place out of which whether s can be at this place or not if s is here then o will be here if o is here o sits second to the left of s or right of s left hand side of s but as the given condition is o is to the right hand side of s hence o and s cannot be in these two places hence s must be s must be here now this s is facing away then o sits second to the left of s and similarly here again o sits second to the left of s and this s must be adjacent to this p now if s is here s is facing away from the center then o will be here o sits second to the right of s and t is neither an immediate neighbor of o nor m as t is neither an immediate neighbor of o nor m t cannot be at this place in case one as t cannot be here t must be here if t is here then who is the person left over here m n o p q q is the person left over hence q must be in this place in between o and m q is here now in this case now t is neither an immediate neighbor of o nor m t must be either here or here if t is here then he will be adjacent to m if t is here he will be adjacent to o that means there is no place left for this o at all and the second case is completely ruled out now we are left with only one case then question number 1 in this who sits to out to the right of t as tell me who is out to the right of t now t is facing the center 1 2 3 m is out to the right of t that is choice 2 then question number 2 as per the given arrangement four of the following five four of the following five is nothing but an odd man out now p q r n t 
Now P N Q T. These persons are at the corners, and who is the person here? R is at the center. Except R, the remaining four persons are facing the center, and R is facing away from the center. And it is given in choice three. Then question number three. Which of the following statements is true with respect to Q as per the given arrangement? Now where is Q? Q is here. And which among the following is definitely true? Q and T face opposite directions. True or false? False, because both these two persons are facing towards the same. And next one, Q should set one of the corners of the table. Yes, that is definitely true. Choice two. Then question number four: How many people sit between O and M when counted from the right hand side of O? When counted from the right hand side of O, how many persons are there? There is only one person. That is Q. Only one. That is choice one. Then question number five: Which of the following pairs represent the people sitting between S and N when counted from the left of S? S and N when counted from the left of S. How many persons are there? There are two persons. Who are those two? T and R. Choice four. Now this is about question numbers one to five. Square table. Eight persons are seated around the square table. Then question number six to ten. Now in the six to ten, twelve people are seated in two parallel rows, containing six people each, in such a way that there is equal distance between adjacent persons. In row one, A, B, C, D, E, and F are seated, and all of them are facing south. And in row two, P, Q, R, S, T, and U are seated, and all of them are facing north. Hence, in total, how many persons are there? Twelve persons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now six persons in one row. And six persons in the other row, isn't it? Now tell me, who are the persons in row one? A to F, and all of them are facing towards south. This is row one, and A to F are the persons seated in this, and this is row two. Now in this one, P to U are the persons seated in this one. Then R sits four to the left of U. As R is seated four to the left of U, now R and U must be in this row which is facing towards north. R sits four to the Left of you, and so how many possibilities do we have? If R is here, you will be here. That is one possibility. And the second possibility, wherein we can have this R and U is R can be at the left, second from the left hand side. If R is here, then you will be at the end. R sits four to the left of you. Only two people sit between R and C, and only two people sit between between the one who faces R and C. Now, who is the person facing R here? This person. Now, between this person and C, there must be exactly two persons. As this person is here, and C must be at this place. And only two persons between R, the person who is facing R and C, the person who is facing R is here, and C will be at this place. Only two persons between R and C, and C faces an immediate neighbor of P, and C faces an immediate neighbor of P. Now, this C is facing an immediate neighbor of P. Now C is facing this person. This person is an immediate neighbor of P. As of now, this person is an immediate neighbor of U, and this person is an immediate neighbor of P as well. And the person who is facing C must be in between P and U, isn't it? And similarly, coming to this one, the one C faces an immediate neighbor of P. Now this is a person P, and immediate neighbor of P is this person, and this person is facing C. And next one. E sits second to the right of B. Whatever this E here, E sits second to the right of B. Now the relation between B and E must be like this. E sits second to the right of B, and neither B nor E sits at an extreme end of the row. As E sits second to the right of B, this E and B are facing towards south, isn't it? And neither B nor E is facing towards or at the corners, extreme end of the row. Hence, B sits second to the right of E. Can B be here? B cannot be at this place because B and E cannot be at the end. Then can B be at this place? No. If B is here, then C and E must be in the same place, which is not possible. B cannot be here as well. Then, isn't it? Sorry, E. E sits second to the right of. Neither B nor E sits second to the right of. Now here, can E be at this place? E cannot be at the end. E cannot be at this place, and E cannot be here as well, isn't it? Then. Can E be at this place? Tell me E. Now E cannot be here and E cannot be here. Then what is the only possibility left over here? E is here. Now this E sits second to the right of B, and so B must be at this place. Neither B nor E seated at the extreme end of the row. And similarly, coming to this one, E cannot be at this place. 
and E cannot be at this place, and E cannot be in any one of these places. And the only place left over is E. Now this E is seated second to the right of B. And the one who faces C sits second to the left of T. Now the one who is facing T, facing C, sits second to the left of T. Now this person is C. Now the person facing C is this person that is in between P and U. And the person must be to the left hand side of second to the left of T. And T must be at the extreme end. And again, coming to this one, the one who faces C. Then who is that person? This person. Now this person is faces second to the left of T. But where second to the left of T is not at all possible. Isn't it? Hence, what is the answer here? We are left with only one case. And only one person sits between T and Q. How many persons in between T and Q? There is only one person. A is neither an immediate neighbor of B nor E. A cannot be at this place and A cannot be at this place. Because he is neither an immediate neighbor of B nor E. Hence, A must be at the left extreme. Isn't it? Hence, A must be at this place opposite to R. Next one. And more than one person sits between A and D. As more than one person sits between A and D, D cannot be at this place. Hence, D must be at this end. Then who is the person left over here? A, B, C, D, E, and F is the person left over. In this one, P, Q, R, S, T, and U are the persons left. Done with this? Now this is how these 12 persons are seated in two different rows, six persons in each, and six persons are facing towards south, and the remaining six are facing towards north. Then question number six in this. Four of the five are alike in a certain way, and hence form a group, find the one which does not belong to the group. That means it is odd by not. What is odd by not here? Yes. S A S A U F B. S U F and B. S U F and B. These persons are at the centers of the line, middle of the lines, but where this A is at the corner. Except as the remaining persons are at the middle, and this S C is A is at the corner. Then question number seven. Who among the following is facing F? Yes, tell me who is facing F here? S. That is choice 3. Then question number 8. Who among the following is facing U? Who is facing U here? C is facing. That is choice 5. Then next one. What is the position of S with respect to U? Position of S with respect to U. S is third to the left hand side. Third to the left, that is choice 1. Third to the left, that is choice 1. Then question number 10. Which of the following statements is true as per the given arrangement? B faces one of the immediate neighbors of P. That is false. R is an immediate neighbor of T. That is also false. And condition number four, only one person sits between F and C. That is definitely true. Then what is the answer here? Choice four. Now question number 10, it is choice four. Now this is about question number six to 10. Now in this one, 12 persons are there and six persons in each row. Then afterwards, 11 to 15. Now question numbers 11 to 15. Now 11 to 15 are based on what? Coding and decoding. Question numbers 11 to 15, coding and decoding. Now in this coding and decoding, how many words are there? How many sentences are there? There are four sentences and four words in each of the sentences. Now compare the first one and the second sentence. If you compare the first and the second, stay order from court, court decides to order. And what are the words which are common between the first and the second? Court and order. Two words are common. As two words are common, we cannot compare these two. Then, now between these two, court and order, now tell me is there any word repeated in the remaining? No. Hence, court and order will be left over finally. And what are the codes for these two? Now, court and order, J-O, and what is the other thing here? K-I. J-O and K-I are the codes for these two in any order. J-O, K-I. Court and order. Next one. Court and order, we are done with this. Then compare the first one and the third one. What is the first and the third here? Stay and from. From is the, from is the word which is common. As from is the word which is common between these two. And what is the code which is common between these two? Elvo. Hence the code to the word from is elvo. From is elvo. Here also from is elvo. Then what is left over here? Now stay is the word left over in statement one. Then what is the code here? Mi. And the code to the word stay is mi. Stay mi. Then compare the second and the third. Decides and two. 
Now, decides is the word which is common between these two decides. And what is the code which is common here? Decides is common. And the next one is yx. And the code to the word decides is yx. Decides and decides is common in the last one as well. And so yx is common. Now, coming to the second one. Now, what is the left, word left over here? 2 is the word left over. And its code is pn. And the code to the word 2 is pn. Now, in the fourth sentence also, there is 2. And pn is there. Isn't it? Then next one. Then one and who are left over in third and fourth sentence. Now who and who, then which is common here? QE is common. And the code to the word who is QU. Then what is left over in this one? One is left over. And the code to the word one is SN. And next one is agree. And the code to the word agree is BV. Now these are the words and their corresponding codes. Done with this? Now question number 11, what does the code JO stands for? As JO stands for what? JO stands for either code or order in any order that is choice 3. Question number 11, choice 3. Then 12th one, what is the code for the word 1 in the given code language? 1 is SN that is choice 2. Then question number 13, what is the code for agree? Agree in the code language. The code to the word agree is BV that is choice 1. Then question number 14, which of the following may represent who should display? Who should stay or slay? No, sir. Now in this one, question number 14. Now in this, who should display? Now who is, what is the code to the word who? Who is QU? And should, there is no word to this one. And what about this slay? Is this lay or is this stay? It is stay. Now take it as stay. Now what is the code to this stay? The code to the word stay is MI. Hence QU and MI must be present here. QU MI. QU MI. MI QU. It also MI QU. It also MI QU. Now we should identify the code for should. Now should is nowhere given in the words, isn't it? Hence its code can, should be anything apart from the given codes. Then what is the code here? Now this one. Now can it be choice 2? Now in choice 2, SN. Yes, yes, SN is the code for 1. Hence it cannot be the code for should. Next one, KA. And KA is the code for either code or order. Hence it cannot be the code for should. 3 is also ruled out. Next one, fifth one, FL. What about this FL here? FL is nowhere given in the codes. Hence FL can be the code for this. Hence a choice 5. Then question number 15. What does the code YX stands for? The code YX stands for decides and it is given in choice 4. Now this is about question numbers 11 to 15. Then 16 to 20. Now after this 11 to 15, question numbers 16 to 20. Now 16 and 17. Whatever these two 16 and 17 are based on, 16 and 17, these two questions are based on blood relations. N is the son of Q. N is the son of Q can be represented like this. N is the son of Q. N is married to S. As N is married to S, N is a male and S is a female. W is the mother of S. W is the mother of S. Y is the daughter of W. And Y is the daughter of W. Y is the daughter of W. Next one. P is the mother-in-law of S. As P is the mother-in-law of S. Now P is the mother-in-law of S means S husband's mother is P. P is the mother-in-law of S, hence Q must be the father-in-law of S. Then coming to this one, how is Y related to N? How is this Y related to N here? Now S and Y are siblings to each other. N's wife, wife's sister. That means spouse's sister. Spouse's sister, sister-in-law, so I is one. Then question number 17, how is Q related to S? S, husband's father. Spouse's father, father-in-law, so I is one. Now this is about question number 16 and 17, one and one are the choices. Then 18 to 20. Now these three questions are based on directions. Point X is 12 meters to the north of point V. X is 12 meters to the north of point V. Now X is here. Now this X is how many meters? 12 meters. To the north of what? To the north of point V. X is 12 meters to the north of point V. S is 8 meters to the west of V. S is 8 meters. 
Now the distance between S and V is 8 meters. S is 8 meters to the west of V. L is 4 meters to the south of S. Now this L. L is how much? 4 meters to the south of S. Q is 6 meters to the west of L. And now Q. Now whatever this Q, Q is 6 meters to the west of L. K is 8 meters to the north of Q. K is 8 meters. From here, K is 8 meters to the north of Q. And this is K. And the total distance is 8 meters. Then, Arun walks 8 meters towards north. Arun walks 8 meters towards north from point S. From point S, this person has covered how much? 8 meters. Now, 8 meters if this person has covered. Now, the total distance between these two is 12. Out of which this person has covered 8, eight meters. Then, what else is left? Now, if you find out the relation between these two, Q and K. Now, S and L, the difference is 4. Hence, up to here, the distance is 4. And again, from here to here, the distance is 4. As of now, this person has covered 4 and 4. And out of this one, this total, this person has covered this 4, then he will be he will be in the horizontal straight line with the help of K and S. Isn't it? Then, Arun walks 8 meters towards north. After covering 8 meters towards north, from point S takes a left turn. Left turn and walks for how many meters? 6 meters. Now, these 6 meters and these 6 meters are one and the same. Then, how far and in which direction should he walk to reach point Q? From here, how much distance this person has to cover in order to reach point Q? Just tell me what is the total distance this person has to cover? No, sir. From here to here, what is the distance here? 8 meters. And again, this is 4. This is 4. And this 8 equals to this one 8. And it's 8 plus 4, 12 meters towards south. And it is given in choice 1. 18 is 1 choice. 1. 19. In which direction is point X with respect to point K? X with respect to point K. K is here and X is here. Now what is the direction here? Now this is north and this is east. North and east, northeast, choice 4. Then question number 28. If point M is 4 meters to the south of point V. M is 4 meters to the south of point V means this 4 and this 4 are one and the same. Hence this will be what? M. M is 4 meters to the south of V. M is 4 meters to the south of V. Which of the following points is the nearest to point M? Yes, tell me which is nearest to M here. Now either L is nearest or V is nearest. Yes? V. Where is V here? V is the nearest. And so what is your answer here? Only choice 2. Isn't it? Now point M is 4 meters to the south of V. Which of the following points is nearest to M? Obviously, V is nearest. V that is choice 2 is the answer. Here the distance is 8 meters. Here it is only 4 meters. And it's choice 2. Question number 20, choice 2 is the answer. Then 21 to 25. Now question numbers 21 to 25, these questions are based on inequalities. Now in these inequalities, question number 21. Now the relation between W and D. And W is here and D is here. Which letter is common between these two? A is common. Now between W and A, there are two opposite symbols. Hence, first conclusion cannot be drawn. Then coming to the second one, H and P. Now H and P, P is here and H is here. The letter which is common between these two is A is common. Now between A and P, what is the relation between A and P here? Now the relation between A and P is, again, two opposite symbols. As two opposite symbols, neither one nor two. Neither one nor two, it is given in choice one. Then question number 22, the relation between T and P. Which letter is common here? A is common. And so T greater than or equals to E. T greater than or equals to E. And P lesser than or equals to E means E greater than or equals to P. Now between T and P, which element is common here? T greater than or equals to P. P lesser than or equals to T, definitely true. Then coming to the next one, the relation between R and G. Now R and E, which letter is common here? E is common. Hence R greater than or equals to E. E greater than or equals to G. Hence R greater than or equals to G is definitely true. Hence G is lesser than or equals to R. But as here, G greater than or equals to R, that is false. Then what is your answer here? Only conclusion 1. Only conclusion 1, that is choice 5. 22, choice 5. Then coming to 23. Now in this question number 23, the relation between P and C. The letter which is common between these two is R is common. R greater than or equals to P. And C is lesser than or equals to R. R greater than or equals to P. And R lesser than or equals to C means C greater than or equals to R. 
C greater than or equals to R, R greater than or equals to P, and C is greater than or equals to P, but whereas here, if this is only greater than, there is no equals to, this is ruled out. Then coming to the next one, F and K. K is here and F is here. What is the letter which is common here? R is common. K less than or equals to R, R less than or equals to F, and K less than or equals to F is true, F greater than or equals to K is definitely true. And so only conclusion 2 follows, only conclusion 2, that is choice 2. Now question number 23, choice 2. Then 24th, now in question number 24, the relation between R and D. R is here, D is here. And which element is common between these two R and D? A is common. R less than or equals to A and D greater than or equals to A means A less than or equals to D. R less than or equals to A, A less than or equals to D, that means R less than or equals to D is true. But as here it is only less than, but not equals to, that is false. Then coming to the next one, T and U. Now between T and U, what is the element which is common here? Again A is common. A greater than or equals to U, and A less than or equals to T. A greater than or equals to U, and A less than or equals to T, that means T is a less than or equals to T means in the reverse T greater than or equals to A. Now the relation between T and U, T greater than or equals to U definitely true. And 24, only conclusion 2 follows, choice 4. Then coming to question number 25. Now if you observe here the conclusions in between S and M only. Isn't it? As the relation between S and M is given, S is here, M is here. What is the letter which is common between these two? E is common. Now E less than or equals to S means S greater than or equals to E and E greater than or equals to M. S greater than or equals to E, E greater than or equals to M. Now between S and M, S is either greater or equal. Either greater than or equal, hence either 1 or 2, that is choice 3. Question number 25, choice 3 is the answer. Done with this? Now this is about question numbers 21 to 25. Now these questions are based on coded inequalities. Next one, 26 to 30. Now in this 26 to 30, it is based on syllogisms. Now all numbers are codes. All these numbers are what? All numbers are codes. All numbers are codes. And some codes are letters. And next one, all letters are words. All these letters are words. All numbers are codes. Some codes are letters. And all letters are words. And the first one is a possibility. Second, no number is a letter. No number is a letter, definitely true. In order to make this one false, so now we can prove it's complementary pair. That is alternate diagram. What is alternate diagram here? Then some numbers are letters. Whether we can able to prove this one or not. Hence alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then coming to the first one, first one is what? First one is in possibility. As the statements are affirmative, we can take it as a single diagram for possibility. Isn't it? All numbers, numbers are letters, codes, codes are letters, letters equals to words. Then what happened here? All codes are words is a possibility. And what is the answer here? Only conclusion one follows. Only conclusion one. And it is given in choice, choice four. Then question number 27. Now in this 27, all actors are dancers. All these actors, all actors are dancers. And all dancers are singers. And next one, some singers are photographers. Again, all the statements are affirmative. As the statements are affirmative, we cannot derive a negative conclusion. As we have seen in the previous question, negative conclusion is not drawn. Now the first one, all actors are photographers. No relation between actor and photographer. And the next one, no actor is a photographer. As no actor is a photographer is true. Hence, with the help of the basic diagram, this is definitely true. As this is definitely true, then now it is a negative conclusion. As it is a negative conclusion to make this one false, now we should prove what? Now we should prove its complementary pair. What is the complementary pair here? No actor is a photographer means now I should prove some actors are photographers. Tell me whether I can prove like this or not. Yes. Hence by doing so what happens here? Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion false. After making the previous conclusion false, then we should check out for what? The previous affirmative conclusion whether it is true or not. Now this is the previous conclusion that was false, isn't it? Now what happened to the first one here? Now all actors are photographers. All actors are photographers, is it true? No. Some actors are photographers, is true, but as all actors are photographers, is false. Hence, this is also false. Hence, neither one not two, and it is given in choice three. Done with this? Now, question number 27, choice three. Then 28. Now, question number 28. Again, all the statements are affirmative. 
some bottles or what, some bottles or cups, and all cups or plates, all these cups or plates, and some of the plates or jars, some plates or jars. Then first one, all plates can never be. Can never be is what? Can is a possibility, isn't it? Can is a possibility, and never is not a possibility. That means the same statement can be written as all plates or bottles is not a possibility. Isn't it? In the class we have discussed this one very clearly. Can never be. How to represent this can never be. All these plates or bottles is not a possibility. Clear now? Then all cups are being jars. Is a possibility. Both these two are possibilities. Now straight away we can start with the first one. What is the first one here? All plates or bottles. Is it possible or not? Tell me. All plates or bottles. Now so the statement is what? All the statements are affirmative. As the statements are affirmative, tell me whether I, I can draw a single diagram or not. As I can represent this one with a single diagram. Single diagram. Hence, all plates or bottles is possible or not? As for me, it is possible. And his claim is that it is not at all possible. Hence, his claim is wrong. Follow here, Leda. Volume and Nerd Japan plates and knee bottles set to process lock of one. Money improves and plates and knee bottles and money improves. And what is the correct end up? What is the false? Hence, all plates can never be bottles will be false because we have proven a case wherein all plates or bottles is true. As all plates or bottles is possible, hence his claim is that can never be is false. Then coming to the second conclusion, what is the second conclusion here? All cups or jars is a possibility. Now, sir, as the statements are affirmative, we can draw it as a single diagram. In this one, it is possible. Hence, what is your answer here? Only conclusion two follows. Only conclusion two, it is given in choice three. Now question number 28, it is choice 3 is the answer. Then 29, now in this 29 some bills are checks, some of the bills are checks, bill and check. And all these checks are what? All checks are notes and no note is a paper, no note is a paper. This is what the information is. Then first one, some bills are paper, some bills are papers, is it true? No. No bill is a paper, no bill is a paper is definitely true. As no bill is a paper is definitely true. Now to make this one false, now we should prove it is complementary. What is a complementary? No bill is paper means some bills are papers, isn't it? Now tell me whether I can prove like that or not. Now this will be my paper. Now what is the statement here? Negative statement, no note is paper. Now also I am not intersecting these two. Hence alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion false. After making the previous conclusion false, now we should check out whether the affirmative conclusion which was false in the basic diagram has become true or not. Now the first one, some bills are papers. Now some bills are papers has become true. Then what is your answer here? If the first conclusion follows, second will be true, false. And if the second is true, first will be false. Hence between these two only one must follow. Hence it is either one or two, choice one. Then coming to question number 30. Now in this 30, all actors are singers. All these actors are what? All actors are singers. And all actors are dancers. All actors are dancers, and all dancers are singers. All actors are dancers, all dancers are singers, some singers are photographers, and some singers are photographers. And first one, some singers are actors. Definitely true or not? Yes. Second one, all dancers are photographers is a possible. Again, all the statements are affirmative. We can draw it as a single diagram, hence it is possible. Hence, both the conclusions follow. Both follow choice three. Now question number 30, it is choice 3 is the answer. Now this is about question numbers 26 to 30. Now 26 to 30 comes under which category? Syllogisms. Then 31 to 35. Now in this 31 to 35, what is the information here? Five members A, B, C, D and E of a family eat grapes, apple, watermelon, pomegranate and pineapple one by one after their lunch. One by one after their lunch, isn't it? One by one after their lunch. Then from Tuesday to Saturday, and no member eats any fruit on Sunday or Monday. Clear? No. These persons are not eating on Sunday and Monday, but where these persons are eating on? In all the remaining days. And five persons, and these five persons eat a different fruit. Isn't it? Then, then how to represent the information? Because now, entire puzzles from the last few days we are checking out, we are concentrating on how to start the puzzle, isn't it? That means what is the diagram which we are supposed to opt for? What are the elements that are to be fixed? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday and sorted. Then, what is our parameter here? Grapes. Now, sir, grapes, apple, watermelon, and so on is given. Now, each of these portions are all the five fruits are eaten in a single day, isn't it? Hence, grapes. Then, what is the next one here? Apple. Next, watermelon. Next one is pomegranate and pineapple are the five fruits. Now, who are the persons here? Now, the persons are A, B, C, D, and E are the persons. Now, we will represent the information in these blocks with the help of A, B, C, D, and E. Isn't it? A, B, C, D, and E. As yes, we must be very careful regarding this one. Okay? Now, how many spaces are there? There are 5 into 5, 25 spaces where you are supposed to fill this one. Hence, we must be very careful while deriving this one. Don't write anything. I will give time afterwards. You can write at that time. Then in this one. Tuesday to Saturday, no member eats any fruit on Sunday or Monday. Each of them eats only one fruit a day. Each of them, each of the persons is eating definitely one fruit per day. And next one. No two members eat the same fruit on a day. No two members. That means only one fruit will be eaten by a single person. Clear enough? And next one. Neither B nor E eats watermelon or grapes on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday, grapes and watermelon. For those two persons, B cannot be here, E cannot be here. Hence, B and E is ruled out. And on Wednesday, B cannot be here, E cannot be here. This is how we are representing the data. It again comes under distribution. Now, in the distribution, representing the data plays a very, very vital role. Now, neither B nor E eats watermelon or grapes on Wednesday. Then, A eats pomegranate on Thursday. On Thursday, and whatever this A, A eats a pomegranate on Thursday. Next one, D eats apple on Tuesday. Now, whatever this D, on Tuesday, D eats apple on Tuesday. Now, it is a fixed arrangement, isn't it? Fixed information, definite information, hence we are fixing that one. D eats apple on Tuesday. E does not eat pineapple on Tuesday. E does not eat pineapple on Tuesday. Pineapple, E here, and put a cross. E cannot be on Tuesday. The next one. B eats pomegranate on Friday. Friday, pomegranate, who is that person? B. B eats pomegranate on Friday. C eats grapes on Saturday. Saturday, who is that person? C eats grapes on Saturday. A eats watermelon on Tuesday. Tuesday, watermelon, who is that person? A. A eats watermelon on Tuesday. And next one. D eats pineapple on Wednesday. D eats pineapple on Wednesday, pineapple, D on Wednesday, hence D must be here. This is what the information provided, isn't it? Now, sir, out of these 25 spaces, what is the information known here? Definite information is regarding only six persons. Then, then how to fill up this one? Then, D, A and E is here. Then, who can be at this place? Tell me. B and E, B and E. No. Coming to this Wednesday, as yes, please keep focus on this one. Now I'm discussing about B. B cannot be grapes on Wednesday. Are you following this one or not? And B cannot be watermelon on Wednesday. That's also. And B cannot be pineapple because D is already pineapple. Hence B must be either apple or pomegranate, isn't it? Either this place or at this place. These are the only two vacant places for this B. Out of this one. Then, can B, be, can B eats pomegranate on Wednesday? No. Why? Because B already eats pomegranate on Friday. As B eats on Friday, B cannot be repeated in this one. Hence, as B cannot be here as well, then what is the only possibility left over? B must be here. All right, here, here, here. As B is here, then coming to this A. Now, E cannot be at this place. E cannot eat its grapes. E cannot eat watermelon, isn't it? And E cannot eat apple and cannot be pineapple. Hence, whatever this E, E must be on. E must eat pomegranate on Wednesday. Done with this? Then B, E, and D were done. Now we are left with A and C. Now, as A and C are left over here, then can C be at this place? Can C eat grapes? No. Why? Because this C is already eating grapes on Saturday and C cannot be here. As C cannot be here, who will be here? A will be here. If A is here, then C will be here. Now this is how these five persons eat five different fruits on Wednesday. Done with this one? Now we have done with this. Then coming to pomegranate. 
now in this pomegranate tell me e a and b were already done now we are left with d and c out of which d and c can d be on tuesday can d eats a pomegranate on tuesday no because d already eats apple on tuesday hence he cannot eat the second fruit on tuesday hence d cannot be repeated here hence d must be here if d is here then who is the person left over c is the person left over as c is the person left over then coming to tuesday tuesday we have three d a and c now we are left with b and e out of which e cannot eat pineapple that is clearly given on tuesday as e cannot be here then this e must eat grapes and who is the person left over here b is the person left over done with this no we are done with this then coming to this one then e and c now let us discuss about these grapes now in this grapes e a c were done now we are left with b and d b can be b can eat grapes on thursday or friday or the which b cannot eat friday because b is already eating pomegranate on friday as b eats pomegranate on friday hence this b eats grapes on thursday if b is here a b c and d eats grapes on friday done with this now this is also fixed then coming to this watermelon now in this watermelon a c are there a and c then now we should discuss about this b and d now tell me whether d can be at this place i am talking about d for daily d cannot eat because d is already eating okay pomegranate on saturday hence d cannot eat watermelon on saturday then can d eats watermelon on friday no why because d is already eating grapes on friday hence d cannot be in these two places d must be here as d is here now we are left with b and e and b cannot be cannot be on friday because b is already eating pomegranate on friday b cannot be here hence b must be here if b is here then who is the person left over e is the person left over done with this now this is also finalized now we are left with apple and pomegranate now d and b are repeated here as only d and b are repeated we cannot okay we cannot finalize the positions of the remaining because only d and b if c is there or something else e is there we can able to determine isn't it if any information regarding this e c or a is given we can able to determine but as here in both the cases the information is about only b and d and so only two known factors here three unknown factors we cannot able to determine and so this is the final and which fruit does e eat on friday as e eats on friday now let us check out the questions here which fruit does e eats on friday e eats watermelon isn't it watermelon on friday that is choice three then next one question number 32 and who eats pomegranate on wednesday on wednesday who eats pomegranate here e eats pomegranate that is choice three isn't it then next one choice three three is again then question number 33 on which day does d eat watermelon yes on which day does d eat watermelon tell me watermelon d is on thursday and this is d eats watermelon on thursday that is choice two then question number 34 now in this question number 34 which are the following combinations is definitely true c pomegranate wednesday is it definitely true false and next one b apple thursday is it definitely true b apple thursday that is also false e watermelon friday is it definitely true yes e watermelon friday is definitely true and it is given choice choice 3 34 choice 3 then question number 35 which are the following combinations is definitely false now the question is about what definitely false c apple thursday c apple thursday thursday c can be apple we cannot say that it is definitely false there is a possibility for true as well definitely false means it should not be true even in a single case now whether c can be at this place or not yes it can be we are not 100 percent sure but there is a possibility for that hence c apple thursday next one e pineapple saturday e pineapple saturday pineapple whether tell me e can be here or not yes either e or e can be either here or e can be here either e or a here also a or e will be here isn't it as a or e is here hence e pineapple on saturday there is a possibility and a apple friday friday a apple yes there is a possibility for a here as well next one b grapes wednesday wednesday b grapes that is definitely false because on wednesday this b eats apple but not grapes hence choice for is the answer done with this one
Now this is about question number 31 to 35 and this is like our Sudoku type of puzzle, isn't it? In Sudoku also we will fill these elements like this. Now say though these six spaces were not filled and you, you need not get worried about this one because if you observe the questions here and the questions are based on the remaining elements but not on these three. Clear? Hence all the puzzles, the entire diagram need not necessarily be finalized. There could be some of the vacant places and please do not get bothered about that one. Okay? Now this is about question number 31 to 35. Then 36 to 40. Let's first write down this one, then let us discuss about this 36 to 40. Yes, completed writing this. Then question number 36 to 40. Now in this 36 to 40, it is based on what? That again comes under distribution type. Now who are the persons here? Eight players of different games are sponsored by different companies. Now what are the elements that are to be identified here? Players. Next one. What is the next parameter here? And companies and the game they are playing. Isn't it? Hence how many parameters are here? And apart from these players, there are two parameters. Hence, first let us finalize the players. Who are the players here? Now, unlike the previous set of questions wherein the persons and the games were given, but as here it is not clearly described. Now, in the statements we need to find out who are the players and what are the games. In the Mundu questions, Shalai Church, Japani, eight players, Sachin and Mahesh and Lakshman and so on, eight persons, and each of them plays a different game. Games will also be given, and each of them is sponsored by a different company. Okay, that description used to be given, but it's here, no information regarding that one. Now we need to find out the person and the games and the sponsors as well. Now tell me who are the players here, Sachin is one, and Sachin. Then who is the next one here, Sachin, next, Sachin. And the player who is sponsored by Redis and the player who is sponsored by Mahesh. And next one is Mahesh, Sachin, Mahesh, next one. And, and Dinku, now Dinku, after this Dinku, volleyball player sponsored by Lakshman, Ramesh, Lakshman, Ramesh, next, Rahul, Lakshman, Ramesh, Rahul, next one, Dandras, and finally Mukesh, are the eight persons, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in total eight persons, eight different, Games, isn't it? Eight different sponsors. Now in this one, now we need to find out the person and the games. Then what is the first one here, the game? And eight players of different games are sponsored and Sachin sponsored by Sachin who plays cricket. Now what is the game he plays here? Cricket. Now Sachin plays cricket and not sponsored by either Pepsi or Britannia. Now Pepsi, Cross, and Britannia cross and this is how to represent the data as we discussed earlier because it comes under distribution type of model and next one 
the player who is sponsored by adidas plays badminton and so badminton and who is a player here and it is sponsored by adidas next one and the player who plays billiards is sponsored by reebok billiards is sponsored by what billiards is sponsored by reebok billiards is sponsored by reebok mahesh is sponsored by mrf mahesh now we can fix this one and what is the company here mrf is the company mahesh mrf is fixed mahesh mrf he does not play table tennis or chess now this mahesh does not play table tennis tt or chess isn't it tt and chess were ruled out table tennis and chess is ruled out and singer sponsored player plays football singer sponsored singer is what singer is a company isn't it now this singer which is a company and this singer company sponsored player who plays football and where can what are the products of this singer football football is sponsored by singer chapan singer products em unnai singer ante paatlu paade vaadu kadu chapan ekkada nu chusara singer ha swimming machines me kutti machine there unta chudandi singer paatha chaala old company idi now the singer sponsored player who plays football next one and dinko does not play hockey now dinko this dinko does not play hockey and so hockey here is ruled out hockey cannot be here and the volleyball player is sponsored by pepsi volleyball player now this volleyball and this sponsored by whom pepsi volleyball player is sponsored by pepsi and lakshman and ramesh play volleyball and badminton lakshman and this one volleyball if lakshman plays volleyball ramesh plays badminton isn't it ramesh plays badminton or this ramesh plays badminton or if this lakshman plays badminton then this ramesh plays volleyball isn't it and the order is not clearly specified lakshman and ramesh plays volleyball and badminton though not necessarily respectively isn't it hence if this volleyball volleyball is pepsi and badminton hence if volleyball is here pepsi will be here then badminton will be here then adidas will be here or if this person lakshman plays badminton then he will be sponsored by adidas then then this ramesh plays volleyball and this volleyball is sponsored by pepsi clear now these two games and these two sponsors were fixed then hence we have done with this information we have done with this information and the next one rahul plays billiards and what is the game here rahul plays billiards and next one and dandaz who is sponsored by spat now this dandaz sponsored by what spat isn't it what do you mean by this spat here spat means what is the product of this company spat steel manufacturing spat now dandaz who is sponsored by spat international does not play chess now this dandaz does not play chess hence chess is ruled out then next one and mukesh is not sponsored by britannia mukesh britannia is ruled out mukesh is britannia is ruled out as mukesh britannia is ruled out then manik chand sponsored player does not play table tennis or hockey now tt and table tennis and hockey now the person who are playing this tt and hockey is not sponsored by manik chand manik chand is ruled out and this is what the information provided isn't it now from this information we need to find out the game and the sponsors now coming to this one britannia and billiards and reebok where can we have this billiards and billiards and reebok is definitely there reebok now we can have this information we have used this information now we are left with what and this football and singer now football and singer can this person sachin cannot play football because he is already playing cricket and can mahesh play cricket can mahesh play football no because if mahesh plays football then this person must be singer which is also ruled out isn't it then what is the other game left over here as next one this football and whether this football can be played by dinko or not as this dinko can play football football this dinko can play football and any other information here and this dandaz cannot play football and mukesh can be football and so many possibilities are there for this one either dinko or this one either dinko or this one then check out the other poll britannia hence who can sponsor britannia here britannia britannia cannot be here 
and Britannia cannot sponsor Mukesh and this Britannia is not sponsoring Sachin and what is the only possibility for this Britannia? Britannia must be Dinku. If Britannia is Dinku, then what happens here? This Dinku cannot play football as well because the person who plays football is sponsored by Singer. Hence, this Dinku is not playing football. Then what is the only possibility left for this football? Football must be played by Mukesh. And what is the company here? The company which is sponsoring is Singer. Now check out the companies. MRF, Britannia, Pepsi, Adidas, and Reebok, Spread, Singer, done. Now it is left with what? Manik Chan. Hence, this Manik Chan is sponsoring whom? Sponsoring Sachin. Then coming to this one, we have done this information as well. Then, TT and Hockey. Now, TT and Hockey is not sponsored by Manik Chan. That is definitely true because this Manik Chan is sponsoring the person who is playing cricket. Then, coming to the remaining games. Volleyball, Badminton, Badminton, Billiards, Football, done. Then, Pepsi and Volleyball. Then, any no, coming to chess. Now, this person, Dandas, cannot play chess. Now this person, Mahesh, cannot play chess. As these two persons cannot play chess, then who is that person? This Dinku must play, play chess. Then coming to this one, and what are the two other games left over here? Hockey and table tennis. Out of which hockey and table tennis, this person, Mahesh, is, cannot play, is not playing table tennis. As this Mahesh is not playing table tennis, then who is playing table tennis here? Dandas. And whatever this Mahesh, this Mahesh plays hockey. And this is the information about this. As we have read the information only once and accordingly we have represented the data. Now in all these type of questions, the first and foremost thing what you are supposed to finalize it is that how we should start a problem, isn't it? Now said which type of diagram we should draw in order to finalize this case. Now this clearly gives you an idea. Question number 31 to 35 and 36 to 40, okay? clearly gives that idea which type of diagram we should opt for. Done with this? Now question number 36 to 40, 36. Tell me who is sponsored by Singer? Now Singer Mukesh, that is choice two. Now question number 37, Dinku plays chess, chess that is given in choice three. Dinku plays chess 38. Now question number 38, who plays table tennis? Tell me who is the person who plays table tennis? Dandas that is choice one. Then, question number 39. The player sponsored by MRF plays which game? The player sponsored by MRF plays which game? He plays hockey. Hockey, that is choice two. Then, question number 40. Now, in this question number 40, which of the following combinations is definitely false? Lakshman, volleyball, chess. Lakshman, volleyball, Pepsi. Is true or false? Yes, it can be true. We cannot say that it is definitely false. There is a possibility. And second one, Ramesh, badminton, Adidas. And that's also definite, may be true. We cannot definitely say that it is definitely false. Rahul Billiards Reebok, and that is definitely true. Mahesh football, Mahesh football MRF is definitely false. Mahesh MRF is true, but he, this person is not sponsor, is not playing football. Hence the choice four is the answer. Now this is about question number 40, choice four. 36 to 40 done. Now this is about paper number. 20592. Then, after this 20592, what is left over here? And it's nano series done. Any doubts in this? 71 to 75. Now, 71 to 75 number series type of questions. As what is given in this one? 71. 71 to 75. As tell me the answer. 70. Yes, numbers please. 7. 1. 71. Now question number 71. Then what is the number here? 5, 23, 77, 239 and so on. Isn't it? Remove the decimal. Now if you remove the decimal, what are the numbers left? Or 5, 23, 77, next one 239, blank and 2183. Then tell me what is the answer here. Now the numbers are increasing at a very faster rate. As the numbers are increasing at a very faster rate, it must be under which category? It must be under product or combination, isn't it? It must be under product or combination. Then how to replace? 
Now it, it does not come under product as well. Why? Because 5 and 23 and 23 and 77 we cannot represent this one. Hence it must be under, it must be under which category? It must be under combination only. And again in the case of combination we should always check out at the highest number. Now in this one 77 and 239. How can you represent this one? 77 into 3 is so much. 70 into 3 is 210 and 70 into 3 is 21. 210, 231. Into 3 plus 8. Whether it is working or not, tell me. Into 3 plus 8. As this is into 3 plus 8, not 23 and 77. 23 into 3 is so much 69. 69 plus 8 is 77. Now this is again 5 into 3, 15 plus 3 is 8. 8. But if you start with this one, what happens here? 5 and 23 will have n number of possibilities of getting 23 with the help of 5. It can be either 5 into 3 plus 8 or 5 into 4 plus 3 or 5 into 5 minus 2 or 5 into 6 minus 7 or n number of possibilities. But whereas in this case 77 and 239 will have only one possibility. Hence in the case of combination we should always check out at start with the highest numbers. Clear? Now 239 into 3 plus 8. As 239 into 3 is so much, 239 into 3, no, 24 into 3 is 720, isn't it? 720 minus 3, 717, 717 plus 8, 25, then what is the answer here? 725, now earlier we have removed that decimal, now we should put this decimal, then what is the answer here? Choice 5 is the answer, clear now? Now 72.5, choice 5, now this is about question number 71. Yes, what about 72? Yes, next one please. 75. Now question number 75. Now what is the number here? 4, 3, 5, 14, 64. Yes, tell me how to represent this one. 4, 3. Now again if you check out the choices. 600, 200, 300, 500 and 400. As the numbers are increasing at a very faster rate. And it must be under either multiplication or combination. Now tell me whether it comes under multiplication or combination. Now 75, 4 and 3, 14 and 64, 4, 3, 55, 4, 3, 5. Next one, 4, 3, 5 and 14 and 64. 14 and 64, how can you represent this one? 14 into how much? 14 into 5 or 14 into 4. 14 into 5 is how much? 14 into 5 is 70. Into 5, 14 into 5 is 70. 70 minus 6 is 64. Into 5 minus 6. Next one, whatever this one? Into 4 minus 6. Next one, this one into 4. 5 into 4, 20 minus 6 is 14. Now 14 into 5, 70 minus 6. Next one, 3 into 4, 12. 12 minus 7. And here 4 into how much? 5, 6. And now this must be how much? This must be 3. Sorry. Okay. Now this must be into 5, into 4. And the next one into 3. This must be into 2. Now this is into 3, 3 into 3, 9. 9 minus how much? 9 minus 4. Now this is 4 into 2, 8. 8 minus how much? 8 minus 5. Yes, what is the relation here? Minus 5. Any relation on the name? 4 into 2, 8. 8 minus 5, 5, 4, 6, 6. There is no relation between these two. Next one. Then, 4 into 1 minus 1 and 3 into 2 minus 1 and 5 into 3 minus 1 and 14 into 4 minus 1, we should have 56. We should have 56, isn't it? 14 and 55. And 55 into 1, 2, 55. Chapman said, what is the answer? Now, question number 75. Now, if you write like this, 4, 3, 5, 14, 64. 4 into 1 minus 1. Next one, into 2 minus 1. Into 3 minus 1. Or into 4 minus 1. Next one must be into 5 minus 1. And 64 into 5 minus 1, 320 minus 1, isn't it? 320 is also not there. Now here it is not 4 into 4 minus 1, isn't it? Now it is into 4 minus 1, the number must be how much? 55. Now 55 into 5 minus 1, what is the number? 55 into 5 minus 1. Come on. 2, 
55 into 5 is how much? 275. 275 minus 1, 274 is the number. It is also not given. Next up, Aninka. Then any difference between these numbers? 435, 1464. No. No, 0.54 into 0.5 plus 1. That is 2 plus 1. And this is 1 plus 2. And 3 into 1 plus 2. Next one, into 2 plus 4. Next one, into 3. 14 into 3 is how much? 42. And 42, and what is the difference here? 42 and? Chapman and Tosundi. 0.51, 1 into 2, and 2, and next one must be into 4. 14 into 4. Why into 4? Because these numbers are multiplied with into 2. 14 into 4, 56. 56 plus how much? 8. Now 0.5 into 2 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is how much? 8. Now 64 into 8. 64 into 8 is how much? 6 to 8, 64 into 8 plus 16. 4 into 8, 32 plus 6 is 48. The last digit is 8. The last digit among the given numbers 8 is given in choice 4. Now question number 75, it is choice 4. Done with this? The next one. 74. Now question number 74, what is given in this 74 here? Now 74, 204, 201, 216, 181 and 145, isn't it? 145. Then question number 74, any answer to this one 74? Now 204, 216, what is the difference between these two here? 204 and 216, the difference between these two numbers is 12. And the next difference, 204, 201. As the numbers are decreasing at a smaller rate, it must be under difference only. 204, 201, next one 216, and 181, and next one is 145. Now 204 and 201 minus 3, and 1 and 16, here the difference is plus 15, minus 3 plus 15, and 16 and 81. As what is the difference here? Now 19 plus 16 is how much 35. Now this 35 can be written as minus 35, isn't it? And what should be the next number? So for next number, next number should be added. Then tell me how much should be added. Now this 3 can be written as 2 square minus 1. 15 can be written as 4 square minus 1. 35 can be written as 6 square minus 1. Next one, 8 square minus 1. 8 square minus 1 is how much? 63. Hence 63 must be added. What is 63 here? 1 plus 3, 4. 18 plus 6 is 24. 244, it is given in choice 4. Now the difference between the numbers can be expressed as n square minus 1 where n is even. 2 square minus 1, 4 square minus 1, 6 square minus 1, 8 square minus 1. Or these differences 3, 15, 35, 63 can also be written as 1 into 3, 15 can be written as 3 into 5, 35 can be written as 5 into 7, 63 can be written as 7 into 9. Next one must be how much? 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9 and 7 into 9 is 63 and 63 should be added. Then these numbers can be written as the product of two consecutive odd numbers. Done with this? Anything else left out in this paper 20592? Okay.